All right, listen to this. We have new information on the acquittal of a Texas man who shot an escort after she would not have sex with him. Ezekiel Gilbert acquitted of murder charges, a jury finding he was justified in the 2009 shooting of a 23-year-old Craigslist escort who took $150 from him and then tried to leave his place without having sex with him. Now, the woman was paralyzed from the gunshot wound and she died several months later. Joe DiBenedetto is a criminal defense attorney. Dan Shore is a former prosecutor. Uh, first of all, I'll start with you in this one, Joe. This law in Texas is a crazy law and it's disturbing. So you can you can break down the law for me. You can kill someone or shoot someone if... Correct. You're allowed to use deadly physical force if there's a, if there's a, a robbery at night um, and and that's exactly what happened here I hate to say it and please don't hate me for saying it but the jury got this correct if you are if you are a juror following the letter of the law she stole one hundred and fifty dollars from this defendant it doesn't matter whether she used a gun or her high heels she stole one hundred fifty dollars and he was justified in using f deadly physical but force this is disturbing and do you know of any other states that have such a law like this I certainly have never seen it applied like this. This is extremely disturbing because this is not really a theft. He contacted her through her Craigslist ad. She came over. He gave her $150 thinking he would get sex in return and she didn't want to have sex with him. So basically he's trying to coerce her into performing an illegal act, prostitution. That's much different than someone taking money from you and stealing at nighttime. It's no different than calling up a local pizzeria and placing an order for a pie of pizza and when the delivery man comes, accepts money for the pizza, but, but doesn't deliver the pies. There's, and there's, I can shoot there's him? There's no different. So I order a pepperoni and cheese pizza and, and he doesn't deliver, he, do, he comes by, takes my money and runs without the pizza being left behind, I can shoot him and if I'm okay? We, if we are following the letter it's of nighttime. the law, in Texas, yes, you are allowed to That's use insane. deadly physical well, force. I, I disagree with that for two reasons. One, as I said before, prostitution is illegal. He's trying to get her to commit an illegal act, not just deliver pizza. Second of all, this is for thefts, not even if you remove sex and prostitution from it, it's an argument over $150 and what he's entitled to for that money. Or in, in the other case, the pizzas. You, you deal with those in other ways okay. than shooting people. With all due respect to Dan, his argument sounds great, but the statute does not make that distinction. It's not there. It, it, it's plain, it's simple, it's straightforward. You, allowed to, you are allowed to use deadly physical force under these circumstances. Okay, well, let, here, here's the thing. Gilbert, the guy, the John, his defense attorney also argued that this was, um, this one was, this was the first time this woman pulled something like this. It was not the first time she pulled something like this, so that was his argument. Let's take a listen, and then we'll talk about it after the bite. Go ahead. She was followed many times by angry patrons wanting their money back, and this manager was 6'4", 260 pounds, and his response was, if you want your money back, you need to come get it from me. So what do you say to that? No different than a purse snatcher. It's, the, it's, uh, it's unfortunate that somebody died, but it's the, it's the same exact analysis. She stole $150. That is, it, there's no dispute as to that. It's very different because he's trying to get her to perform an illegal act prostitution and that's different than someone coming and robbing you. I've seen in cases it's difficult sometimes to get convictions when the victim is not very popular, not very um, friendly to the jury in their eyes. And here a prostitute or someone who's putting a Craigslist up ad up about prostitution may not have been sympathetic in their eyes and that might have been in play here. So you're saying that perhaps there is something to it that this because this woman was selling her or goods for sale. When well. prostitutes, and she put a Craigslist ad out there, when prostitutes are victimized by sexual assault or homicide, sometimes it's tough to get convictions because juries aren't as sympathetic, but it's important that they still be protected. Okay. 10 seconds, go ahead, wrap it up for me. The, the law in Texas is what it is. It's, it's, it's a very straightforward application, and the jury got it correct. All right, well, I, it's too bad that anyone died. Let's, let's, let's say that. It doesn't matter what the person does for a living. Uh, Joe Benedetto and Dan Shore, thank you very much for both of uh, you being here. Uh, John?